So welcome to another video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander. And today, something just a little bit different. Um, just kind of wanted to show you uh, some different things out there uh, that I have kind of come across and th that you may see and that you might have some kind of interest in. So uh, today, we're taking a look at um, a new set of counter trays uh, that I've come across. And these are from a company called um, Cube for Me, uh, and it's a subsidiary of, I think, Rails on Boards. I'm not quite sure what the relationship between those two is, but I, I believe it's... Cube for Me is the website. If you go to cubeforme.com, um, it's a website uh, where they make these, uh, and they also make a lot of different um, components as well. The main thing that I was interested in uh, was the counter trays. Uh, as war gamers, we use a lot of counter trays. You know, I say we... I do. I uh, use a lot of baggies in some games, but if I can get counter trays and them to fit in nicely and reasonably, I do like to use them. I just think they're a really nice organizational tool. Um, and I had seen these war game sets being sold on uh, by Cubes for, for Me. Uh, cube for Me, not Cubes. <laughs> so on Twitter, someone had kind of posted a picture of, hey, this company sells pre-made sets of wargaming trays. And that's kind of the that's kind of the their selling point is that they will sell kind of bundles of all of the things you need for a specific game. And for some games that can be, you know, a lot of different moving bits and pieces. So for example, they got sets for Almoravid and Nevsky, I believe, uh, and those have like those those include like some little mini card deck holders, some ones for all the wooden pieces, some for the tokens, things like that. But it's everything that goes into those, and they show you how to put it all in, and the photography and the presentation on the website's really, really good. Um, they've got things for like Pacific War, uh, for the new Julius Caesar that just came out, uh, the, with the deluxe GBOH, things that have tons of counters, and you just have a million different baggies, that you can organize them into trays seemingly very, very nicely. So it was something where I was like, ah, that's very cool, <laughs> but is that any different from just buying my own tray, you know, and what does that look like? And I kind of had a, had a chat with some people, and I asked if anyone had used them. People said they were very good and that the shipping was very fast because they do come, I believe it's out. Uh, I'm going to say Poland, but I don't know if that's actually true. But I, it's, I believe it's out, of, it's east, out of Eastern Europe. We're in the US, usually the shipping times on those is kind of um, monumentally long and also quite expensive. And what I would tell you is, is that um, I purchased uh, the Atlantic Chase set uh, and the shipping on it was like 10 bucks. Uh, so I would, next time I think I would toss a lot more stuff in because the shipping really wasn't that bad. Um, but I, I just kind of wanted to get a set, see what it was like, see if it was worth it, and kind of show you what that's like. Now, uh, the owner of the company, uh, the guy who runs it, very generously included some optional, some extras just so that we could see some of the variety and so that I could show you. So he included some of these, uh, you know, and I was like, well, you know, we'll make a little video with some kind of uh, honest opinions about it and on what we're, what we're doing that. So, you know, he sent me a little bag of all various different wooden tokens and bits and pieces you can get as well. Um, so you can get sets of these for different, you know, markers that I know a lot of people substitute that stuff in their war game. So we'll kind of talk about some of these here in just a second, but I wanted to show you the Atlantic Chase set, because before I had all my stuff in a bunch of different baggies, uh, and let's just crack this out and I'll show you kind of what this is. So here's the Atlantic Chase set, and it is two of their, um, I think it's their largest size counter trays that you get, with everything very, very ni nice and tidily organized in there. Now, that all fits in my box, so I've got all of the different paper and boards in there, and these just slide right on top, and then the lid goes on. And that's, so fit-wise, it's pretty decent. I think you get like a millimeter of box lid lift. But I could also just, you know, rearrange some of the paper in there to eliminate that. But you get in these two 
uh, large size uh, trays. So I wanted to kind of set you some comparisons and we'll show you some of that here in just a second. But uh, one of the things to note is that uh, these are clear on both sides. So I don't know if that makes a difference to anyone. <laughs> it, I just like the way that it looks. I think these are, are very nice looking trays. It's nice to be able to kind of see through everything. I don't know, it's just a cool, it's very pleasing. You can see they've got these little red stickers on them and I think that's how they organize them in the warehouse. So they know that, hey, this is a set of them uh, for this particular game. Not sure about that, but that uh, was my inclination. I've even got the dice in here and those fit in pretty well. Uh, these are, um, so, one thing that you might note is that they have rounded corners on them, like every other counter tray, except for this corner, which is pointed and has this little kind of a, a little, uh, I don't know what you would call that, a little indentation on it, so that you can grip it and this is where you're going to um, pull the corners up from. Uh, this is something I would not normally do with other counter trays, uh, but you can turn it upside down. And I'm holding just the bottom, and it is not going anywhere. These are very, very secure. So that's nice if you're transporting your games, you're not going to have them pop off. Uh, some manufacturers, their lids are uh, a little bit on the looser side. But yeah, you just pop it up, comes off just fine. Uh, I do like uh, that they are square um, wells, is what I'm going to call them, uh, because so, for example, the GMT trays, uh, my fingers are a little bit too fat sometimes with some of the little counters that I've got in there, and they're a little bit thinner, and sometimes that can be a bit of a struggle for me. But all in all, I'm extremely happy with this particular set. I think it's really nice, and this is a game that has a lot of counters, and you don't necessarily use all of them all the time, but I don't have to have a million baggies out. I just here put these on the side of the game board. Here's my game board out. Everything is very tidy and organized instead of having reams of bags everywhere, which is something that I am prone to. So that's what these ones uh, kind of look like and what you're gonna get with them. So let's have a quick look compared to, for example, the standard GMT tray. So if you lay it over the top, the, um, the GMT tray, that's not very helpful, is it? But the GMT tray is actually slightly larger from a footprint standpoint, uh, from a width standpoint, but that is all because of this extremely large rim around the outside, uh, which is on both sides. So this hack, the, uh, the cube for me has a lot more um, volumetric space inside of it. And then also, this is longer. It fills up the whole box. So you don't have space to toss your dice down the side, which you do in all the, in the GMT boxes with GMT trays. But the wells are big enough to fit very large dice in them, so that kind of counterbalances that, but you get, a, uh, I cannot tell you how much more space inside the tray you're getting, because um, height-wise, um, or depth-wise, I guess is what you would say, identical. Um, so, these are great, this is good old faithful, I've got a million of these in my games, I will consistently keep using these as well, um, but you do get um, more space in these. It's less cramped. Uh, so that was something that I really did appreciate. Now if we compare that to the, I've got the lock and load publishing trays, which are similar in size to the uh, to the DVG ones as well. Um, I don't have one of those handy, unfortunately. Uh, but these are much, much thicker. Uh, these are like an inch deep. So that was kind of the draw of these is that, especially for those um, pre-rounded counters on the thick mounted boards um, that, uh, that uh, lock and load and, and DVG like to do, th you know, it's hard to fit those in these little slender, thin, not very deep trays, but these are great for those. Um, uh, my issue with these is I don't, I don't like, I feel like the lids aren't the most stable, which, you know, if you're not taking games around, it's fine, but uh, I've always been slightly wary of that, whereas these are extremely um, secure on there as well. And once again, you don't have all the wasted kind of flat space around the edge. So you, whilst these are much shallower, you, you're, you can fit more in these. Um, these make a very efficient use of the space. So let's take a quick look. Um, this is a GMT tray with my Empire of the Sun stuff in it. Um, quick little tidbit, if you organize Empire of the Sun, here's my setup stuff. 
is that how I've got it organized? Which way around is it? Yeah. I've got all my setup stuff, and then it's like turns two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, so that's how it's, that's how mine's organized. So oh, a new turn hit. That's it. Uh, that's a really nice way to organize it. Just a little tidbit there for you. But everything fits in this tray really nicely, um, and that's. But just to compare, this is what you you know you can fit everything in one of these as well. No big deal, uh, and you can fit your dice, your D10s uh, fit in here as well. So. Just this is just kind of like as an example of the difference between the two. You can see this one's a little bit smaller for some games, that doesn't matter. Uh, for other custom games, you know, th they've done a really good job with that. Uh, the other thing I wanted to quickly mention is uh, we talked about the Aegis trays, uh, which are also very good. Those are actually put out by a friend of ours. Um, I really, really like these for a similar reason. I like these. First off, uh, this lid's not going anywhere. Uh, but also, like these, they, they really maximize the amount of space. The wells in these are significantly larger, noticeably larger than the ones in the GMT trays. And I know GMT doesn't, I know they're called GMT trays, but they're just the ones who sell them. But uh, the, if, you're, if you're looking at the Aegis trays, and these ones from Cube for me, very, 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 very similar. Identical height, uh, an identical size, uh, and they also kind of really max out the space in the box. So I do think that these two uh, styles of trays are what I'm looking at going forward. You know, I, I really appreciate just that extra little bit of space. You can, f you can fit a lot more wooden pieces in these wells uh, than you can in these small ones, I will tell you that. And as such, it just feels a bit better to kind of, it's easier to organize. Now I don't have, so, I don't have any Hex Encounter games in these. I mean, technically this is a Hex Encounter game, I guess, if you were thinking about it that way. But something like Empire of the Sun, I do not have organized into any of these trays yet. Um, I've got my uh, Battle Hymn Volume 2, a uh, Volume 1, sorry, I wish it was a Volume 2. I got my Battle Hymn Volume 1 in a tray like this as well. Works really well, but uh, I do have some... Uh, designs to try and get some of my Hex Encounter War games into trays like this. I just think it's a really nice look and feel. And the other thing that I would say about these is these are very sturdy. Um, these wells, you can you can dent and flex some of this uh, flexible plastic. You can even do that with the Aegis trays. Um, th these, aren't, these aren't going anywhere. This is so rugged. I, I can't tell you how strong that those feel in the hand. So, they did send me these extras, uh, which I will just kind of talk through real quick. So you get ones which are a much smaller size. Uh, so if you have a game that doesn't have all the components like these do, you can get a little smaller one. Maybe it's got a small little couple of decks of cards in it. Um, this was interesting. You could use this as kind of a bits tray, uh, but it does fit a very small, uh, maybe like a 25 or 30 card deck of cards in there. I don't know, it might not fit 30, but um, the little Almoravid, uh, the little Nevsky decks, uh, those fit perfectly in here, and you actually get these in that. So a couple of those could be good for cards. I don't know if you could sleeve cards and put those in. I think it's too small for that, but you could just use it as a, a larger bits tray if you were so inclined. But uh, they do have these smaller options, and then these are the one. this is what I have in... Um, uh, Atlantic Chase, however, it's a little bit shallower, which we'll talk about in a second. Then they do also have this type, which these are much smaller wells. And you can see, footprint-wise, this is much smaller, but if you've got a smaller footprint game, uh, you can, you know, you can use these as well. The real important thing, uh, and this is something that you can kind of see on their website as well, is these, a lot of these have different depths. So, these are the ones that you're going to get on Atlantic Chase. Uh, they have regular kind of GMT depth size trays. And you can kind of tell from this, you're looking at this big gap in between here. And it's where they put the divots in. So that's the, and then, but then they've got like a medium one where this is, it feels much, much shallower. And if you can tell, the gap between the lid and the base is much, much smaller. This is about two millimeters. This is closer to five or six. And then again, these ones 
you know, you can, you can go all the different sizes of the wells and the actual shape. This has no gap between the lids, and this is the thinnest yet. Uh, so I'm gonna, I, I don't know if I've got a lot of games with this few pieces in it um, that I would want to organize in a tray. Um, and you can kind of see here, these ones, uh, you, you're pulling apart this little corner, and it's, but it's all the same thing, right? Opens in a two piece. Uh, and it's got the little handy things to tell you where to open it, but um, I'm not sure about what I'm going to use this for, because I think most war games have a lot of counters, <laughs> or they're putting them on thicker mounted boards, so I'm gonna, this is, I don't know what I'm going to do with this. I haven't figured out a war game that has small enough and few enough pieces to fit in a thin tray like this um, that needs a tray. So this one I'm going to figure out, but these things, I'll be able to, this, these are quite small. This might be a Euro game that that goes into, but something like this would go into a small format game very, very easily, um, which would be a great boon. But yeah, the, the, the regular thickness ones that are the similar thickness that are GMT trays, that's what you're getting um, in the Atlantic Chase set. Um, and it feels very familiar from that standpoint. It's a great way to organize, and they do look awesome. So I do appreciate uh, Cubes for me sending these extras to us to have a look at of the different variety of products that they sell. We hadn't talked about that much, all these different bits and pieces, but they do sell a, a very large variety of markers and cubes and meeples. These are like little oil barrels, little airplanes. So if you're designing prototypes, or if you want to kind of pimp out the components in some of your games, I know a lot of people use these X's uh, in some games to mark that that unit's been activated in games that don't have that, something like uh, uh, OCS. Uh, you see lots of people doing that kind of thing. You can get those. These are very nice uh, wooden pieces, both colored or um, not. They got the plain wood ones. So that is an option. Um, we have a little bag of kind of extras here, which I will not sure what I'm going to do with those, but uh, they do have that as an option as well. But the other thing that I will tell you is, is that I ordered these and they came in seven days. So I, it may even have been less than that, but I'm in the, the, I'm in Indiana. We're in the middle of the United States. So this is to fly all the way from Europe, then uh, get to us uh, kind of overland a little bit. And the sh so it, and it took, a week. I was very, very, very impressed, and I swear they didn't do anything extra because it was us. That did not happen. Um, I just ordered it regularly, uh, and they sent it through the regular mode that they would have done. So, and they arrived in pristine condition. They were well packaged. So, if this is something that you might be interested in, but maybe a little bit hesitant, like I was, I kind of took a punt on it. Um, but it, it it's worked out extremely well. <laughs> I'm very happy with this. I will probably end up ordering more of these at some point. And it, you know, it varies. You can buy them individually or you can buy the war game sets. Uh, there's a lot of different options on the website, but check it out if it's something that you're interested in. I will be keeping an eye on um, some of those to see, oh, if they come out with a set, like they got a set for Fields of Fire, which I want to kind of have another look at of like, is that something I'd want to pull the trigger on? Uh, but. All sorts of different things. It's worth having a look. It's cubeforme.com. Um, these have been a boon, and again, I can't tell you how secure this is. Like, I can throw this around. If you're trying to get it open from the not opening corner, it is very, very difficult. You have to open it from this little tab, kind of squeeze your finger in, and then it's going to pop the lid off. So, if you're traveling a lot, going to conventions, these are going to be a boon to you. But anyway, that was the big ramble. Cubes for me. Thank you very much for sending us these samples and for shipping the ones that we did pay for in an extremely timely manner. Um, appreciate you very much for tuning in. I've been Alexander from theplayersaid.com.